This is Love Spoon number 12. I carved this for Matt and Jeannie in their new baby. After you get your ideas all down on paper, clean up the drawing, straighten it out, Make sure your lines go the way that you want them to. Then I generally take a felt tip marker and I'll darken them all up in the dark. And if you need to darken up the fine lines, get a really soft lead pencil and go over your drawings just to make sure everything is crisp and clear. I usually spread glue with the putty knife, get it all over the surface where I'm going to apply the pattern. Set the pattern down where you want to cut it. Press it down in lightly. You can take your putty knife and squeegee it out, pull all the excess glue out from underneath the pattern. Now we get to bandsaw out the outer edge get the overall profile and after that we scroll saw out the inside coming up with the cutout pattern I laid out the depth of my block out cuts exactly where I wanted them. And now we can start carving. This part of the carving I consider blocking it out. I just do square cuts and relieve it front to back. The actual carving will come later when I start rounding everything off and putting shape into the giraffe. After blocking out the front side where the picture is, I'll finally turn it over and do the same thing on the back. as far as I got with the movie camera. The rest of it was all carved sitting in my easy chair listening to a book on tape. Anyways, that takes it from drawings to the finished product. Got loose hearts, the giraffe, which you see that I wood burned to give it some detail. And it's all carved from just one piece of wood. 